into the Sea of Japan. Now, what's arguably the world's most important satellite has launched to in orbit from California. This is an Atlas rocket taking off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. It's carrying some special cargo, Landsat 9, a satellite that will observe Earth from orbit. Well, we're joined now from Florida by Dr. Ken Kremer, who is uh, in a research scientist and managing editor of Space Up Close. Thank you very much for joining us. It's great to have you on the program. I love that picture behind you of that shuttle taking off. Let me ask you, first yes, of all, e <laughs> explain to us what exactly Landsat 9 is. Well, Landsat 9 is a really critical satellite. What it will do is measure the Earth and all of its resources, and it's a continuous record uh, for 50 years. Landsat 1 was launched back in 1972, and today, this afternoon, we had Landsat 9. And so we can look at how the Earth has changed over those 50 years. It's looking at forests, it's looking at crops, it's looking at water resources, it's looking at urban areas, it's looking at glaciers. And, and we want to see how this changes over time. And when we know how it changes, then we can help manage it. And so this is also a very strong, um, helpful for, for climate change and how we should react to climate change. So that's, um, that's what we launched today. It's got two science instruments. It's in a polar orbit. And um, basically, it's going to work in tandem with Landsat 8. So we get the same picture at the same spot of Earth every eight days. Each satellite goes over 16 days, and then by combining them, we can see every eight days how things change. Actually, it's funny you mentioned Landsat 8, because I wanted to ask you, what happened to Landsat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8? Well, 8 is still there, and it's functioning for more than five years. This satellite has a five-year design lifetime, so that's why we need to launch the next one so we can keep keep uh, those those images coming and keep those measurements coming so we have that continuous record the other seven well landsat seven is also still up there and it's at the end of its lifetime so landsat nine is going to replace landsat seven so we have those two satellites going simultaneously the first six are no longer in operation and so that's what we do every couple of years every five years or so NASA and the, and the U.S. Geologic Survey, they launch a new one so we can maintain that continuous record. And explain, you touched on it earlier, how do these satellites help us in the fight against climate change? Well, because they measure how the climate actually changes. It's, it's, it's not just talk, it's actually measured. We can see how the crops uh, develop, if they're healthy or if they're dying, how much water is there. And so by, also by measuring the temperature, we know what's going on um, on, on the ground. And so by, by, by actually having the data to show how the Earth is changing, scientists can then say, well, this is the climate change that's happening, and this is what you know we need to do about it. And then it's up to governments around the world to react. But at least they will have the scientific data, you know, unbiased scientific data to make those critical decisions. OK, Dr. Kramer, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. And I like your shirt as well. My wife makes them. She worked on the shuttle. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much.